you are back. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. Hi. <laughs> Larry says hi from the kitchen. The lights went off. I don't know why I did that. Um, anyways, welcome back to a brand new video. I have lots to film you. Film? Film you? No, I'm not filming you. Lots to fill you guys in on. We had a really fun weekend and I'm gonna explain all that to you guys and we're just gonna hang out. I do need to do some grocery shopping today. The refrigerator is getting low and I definitely, not that I wasn't eating a lot of fruits and vegetables before, but guys, I'm on day four of cutting out dairy, FYI, for skin reasons. I'm trying it, we're gonna see. I never realized how much dairy was in everything I eat. All of my salad dressings contain dairy. My pumpkin pie that I made contains dairy. The whipped cream that I put on the top of my coffee, dairy. Like everything has dairy in it and things that I just didn't realize. By the way, I'm wearing peppermint oil, like a pure peppermint oil, cause I'm a little like headachey, ear achey. We have an appointment later today. I think I have ear infection, not a fun time. So we're <laughs> gonna go out. We might stop at Whole Foods cause the doctor that I see is right by a Whole Foods and it's like a treasure to get to visit there. <gasps> it's not Whole Foods, it's Sprouts. I think it's Sprouts. <laughs> yeah, I know, oopsies. And we need to go to Publix and I'm also gonna get my brows done. Guys, it has been a while. So we're gonna go get those fixed. Basically, we have lots to accomplish today. Lots we have to do. Lots to do, ha <laughs> ha. That's a Hagrid quote from Larry. Larry and I also have plans to like lay out the mattress in the living room and watch Hocus Pocus. It is the first time of the season. I'm very late. I don't know what's wrong with me. I was watching Halloween movies with my family. All of us are behind this year. Last year we were watching it in August. Maybe we're not behind, maybe it's that we're on time this year. Um, anyway, so we have our mattress pulled out. We're gonna make it like really cute. Watch Hocus Pocus later today. I'm very, very excited about that, which leads me into today's sponsor, which is Birch Living. I have worked with them previously. Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally friendly. Birch makes organic, non-toxic mattresses made right here in America with just four materials sourced straight from nature. Organic latex, New Zealand wool, American steel springs, and organic cotton. I'm yes, sure, babe. I'm sure color is fashionable and important. I care about how I feel after I sleep on it. And That's true. I can sleep on it. That's number true. Number one, I can't sleep on it. And number two, I like to sleep on it. Each birch mattress comes with two of their Eco Rest pillows made from recycled plastic bottles. They're breathable and better for the environment. Now, you guys know Larry and I, we have a plan for this mattress, which was suggested by you guys and it was to hopefully the guest bedroom will become a nursery and you guys suggested putting like a small mattress in there just in case I needed to sleep in there or Larry needed to sleep in there or my mom needed to sleep in there. So right now it's being used as a spare mattress for guests and family members that come over. And I've had migraines. I have taken naps on this mattress just because I don't want to disturb Larry. It is the softest, most comfortable mattress. It's really easy too. It comes straight to your door so you don't have to go out to the stores and like <laughs> worry or panic. With your Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. If you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. I love my Birch mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com backslash minx for $400 off plus two free pillows. Also have to throw it out there that these mattresses are not made with any toxic ingredients. They're all natural, which was really, really important. Thank you so much, Birch, for sponsoring this video. Now, guys, it is time to head to the grocery store. I'm very excited to head to the grocery store. Do you guys find grocery shopping a chore or do you find it so exciting? I've always found it exciting, maybe because I'm a foodie and I just love food. So I'm just excited to get new things. I think I'm gonna try and prep my fruits and vegetables. As I was saying, I'm trying to eat much healthier, prepping for embryo transfer and all that good stuff. Um, and then cutting out dairy, I'm being more conscious about really what I'm eating. So I'm trying to eat more whole foods, more fruits and vegetables. I always have eaten a lot of fruits and vegetables though, so that's good. We cannot continue on with our day until you guys see the footage from this weekend. I have a new family member in the family. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to him now and a little bit of the back story. We have a big surprise for my mom. If you guys know or don't know, my mom and dad, my family have horses. They had two 
Prince and Cinnamon, and earlier, a couple weeks ago, Prince did pass away. Horses are known to be herd animals. They don't like to be by themselves. So we were trying to figure out if Cinnamon needed a companion and what we should get Cinnamon as a companion because Cinnamon is an extremely bossy mare. She is in control. She's just, she's very sassy. I have been in contact with my mom's farrier and farriers work on horses hooves. Basically we're trying to get my mom something that's a little bit smaller than a horse that isn't going to be as much, but still something for cinnamon. We are surprising my mom with a mule. His name is Marvel. He is three years old. He is very cute and we are hoping for the best. Uh, so we will see how it goes. This vlog might be in two different days. I don't know because I'm in contact with the farrier as we speak and he's hoping to be able to bring Marvel over later today after he is done going around the area. So we've made it to mom and dad's house and Larry and I have shared the news with mom and dad and grandpa. I didn't film it because I just didn't want to put pressure or like a reaction on mom and dad. So I told dad first to prepare dad, you know, and um, he cried. He's not gonna admit it. He's gonna say he cut onions. Just the right eye, not the left. I've left eye seen my dad eye. cry once in my entire life, which just goes to show how much emotional stress is kind of like on the family right now with everything that's going on. And mom's sitting on the other side of the camera bawling her eyes out still, so I'm not gonna show her because she wants to go upstairs and get a shower and prepare herself. But we are gonna hopefully be welcoming a new little member to the family. Marvel. It's currently the next day, so Marvel didn't end up arriving yesterday, which we had an idea could happen. It is a monumental moment, <laughs> so let's go. Marvel's arrival is running a bit behind. It's pouring, so hopefully he arrives. Maybe not in the pouring rain, but he probably will, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film because I can't get this camera wet, but there is a barn that hopefully I'll be able to be underneath and I'll be able to film little bits and pieces of his arrival, but yay Florida in the summertime. Oh, he's so little. Oh, look at him go. He is so cute. I'll let you decide when to say hi. There you go. Aww. He's so freaking cute. Wait till you hear his voice. Oh my gosh. I mean, God, I hope Cinnamon's nice to him. You think he's in the barn? I do have a water bottle out there. Is he closed in? No. Oh, so you want to just meet? want me to bring him around? Oh. gosh and this is when the pecking order begins they're both professionals so everybody knows what they're doing that's in the pasture and that would be the gentleman who is my mom's farrier and my mom Cinnamon stalking. Good girl, Cinnamon. Hi. Good girl. Hi, Marvel. You're so handsome. Cinnamon, you're stalking. Good girl. Yay. Hi, Marvel. Good job. Oh, this is going rather well. I think it's because he's so little. Hi, Cinnamon. You're so good. Yeah, you're doing good. Good job. Good job. No. 
He's so cute. Isn't he though? He's so little. Hi, Steven. Oh dear. Well, at least Marvel's not upset, but look at Cinnamon's like, uh-oh. Oh, that is so precious. Well, this is going much better than Lexi and Luna. And they're... <laughs> you know, you gotta give them the space though too. It's gotta happen, right? I think it's a blessing that he's much smaller. I think she would be more intimidated if he was big. Don't you? about two hours and they're honestly doing really well uh, this is their first time back outside since the rain cinnamon just kind of like follows him a little bit but he acts so uninterested that they are doing really really well together now that you guys have seen that it's just it makes me so happy and a little update marvel has been with us for two days it's monday as i'm filming this he came sunday so he's been here for almost a full day as i'm filming this video and he is doing so well cinnamon really likes him so cinnamon now has a companion and marvel is doing really really well and we're so happy to have him and of course it's so sad that prince is no longer with us and nobody will ever replace prince but it's nice that you know my mom can feel a little bit better and Cinnamon has a friend. So yeah, I wanted to introduce you guys to him. He's so little, he is so freaking cute. I just want to squish him, he's so, so adorable. Guys, I know you love pumpkin, so I'm gonna show you to her because she's here and then we're gonna do this grocery haul because this is probably one of the largest grocery hauls that we have filmed in a very long time. So many fresh produce and fruits. I'm very excited to show you guys. They were having a lot of buy one, get one deals at I almost said Giant Eagle, that's in Ohio, Publix. So you guys know if you go to Publix, they have a lot of those buy one, get ones. <laughs> we scored today. So, but first let me show you Pumpkin. There she is, hi Pumpkin. Okay, so starting over here, we have my favorite cherry tomatoes, which are the sugar bomb, Brussels sprouts, a lime, lemons, green beans. These are the cutest. Greenwise Honey Crisp Apples, they're organic. I did kind of make a note to try and pick more organic fruits and vegetables this time. So I'm sure you guys are gonna notice that throughout. Just trying to make a conscious pesticide type decision, I guess you could say. So we have bananas. I love mushrooms, you guys already know this. So I picked up two types, the sliced baby bellas and then the whole white mushrooms. We have peaches, which are in season right now. So I got two that are much more firm and then one that Larry and I can share today. Oh, guys, we have new pickles to try. So funny story about this. In the checkout line, she was telling me how good they were. And I realized it said hot in red and I didn't want hot. So I had to run back and grab them and come back. But we have the classic dill. I think it's Grillo's Pickles. So super excited. I mean, look at that. It's like all garlicky and oniony, and you can see the dill. Fresh pineapple. This is my favorite cold brew coffee. And I found this, which I'm so excited about because you guys know at the moment, I'm trying to do dairy free for acne purposes. I'm just kind of trying it out. So I found this and I thought Chobon Chobani was gonna have dairy in it. And then I saw non-dairy and I got really excited. It's pumpkin spice. Coffee creamer, um, no lactose, no nuts, no gluten. So I thought for this pairing, that would be awesome. We have celery. Um, our milk that we use is the unsweet almond milk. The Bush's beans were five for a dollar. No, five for five, five for five, that's what they were. So we got black beans and kidney beans as well. Larry's no salt added tomato sauce. I picked up a sea salt grinder as well for the table. And then 
These were buy one, get one free. So I picked up three of the pepperoncinis. They're my favorite. And then one banana ring pepper. I like to add those to pizzas when I make them here. I picked up some pickled ginger, which was the first. We were out of the olive oil pan spray, so picked up that. This is the best. If you are looking for a delicious dessert tea, you guys have to try this. It is so good. It's the glazed lemon loaf herbal tea. And then I picked up my classic chai. Usually I get the ultra spice. This time I just want classic chai because my plan is to maybe add a splash of this, depending on how I like it, to the chai. Okay, so moving on over here. We have unsweetened coconut that I plan to add to my yogurts, like just as a topper for desserts. I picked up this, which is a first for me. It's the Kit or Kite Hill Original. One gram of sugar. It's plain unsweetened almond milk yogurt. It's dairy free. I've never tried this brand, but I've heard a lot of wonderful things about this brand. And I also want to use this as a sour cream replacement since, you know, cutting out dairy at the moment. Now, when I picked up the silk yogurt in the bigger thing last time, I told you guys I really wasn't thrilled with it, but they have it in different flavors. So I thought maybe I would give it a try. So I purchased it in the small one. So I have, which one is this? Strawberry, dark chocolate, coconut. <gasps> is that gonna have dairy? Cause it's chocolate. Oh no. You didn't think about that? Cocoa processed with alcohol. Go la la. Does it still say no dairy on here? Dairy alternative. Dairy free. Good. So it's chocolate that's dairy free. That's exciting. Um, what's that one? Vanilla, another chocolate, and a peach mango. Chai seeds or chia. I'm just kidding. I'm saying it wrong. I always say this wrong, and you guys correct me and set me straight. So thank you for that. It's chia seeds. And I add this to my oatmeal. I also add it to yogurt. Larry found the original mashed potatoes, which were buy one, get one free. <sighs> this was a hard decision to make because I wasn't going to do it because I have tried dairy-free cheese in the past and I could not. Like it was awful. I don't remember the brand. It's like a weird, I don't know. I went with a different brand. It was there, but I can't remember what it was called. If you guys remember when I tried it, I told you guys, if you remember the brand, let me know. But I picked up this, which is follow your heart since 1970 mozzarella and I did get cheddar. So this, I, I make a lot of personal pizzas with my favorite wraps. I was like, I don't wanna eat a piece of pizza that I make from home without any cheese on it. I just, that doesn't sound so satisfying. So I picked it up, we'll give it a try, see how it goes. And then you guys know I'm a sucker for tacos. I love adding cheddar to my tacos. So again, we're gonna try it, we'll see. I might hate it, which will suck. So <laughs> when you're a cheese lover, you understand. So we went with carrots also broccoli, um, these black bean and quinoa tortilla chips for chips and salsa or chips and guac. Guys, these mangoes. Look at the size of it compared to a very large, by the way, Honeycrisp apple in there. Like these suckers are huge. So they were also five for five. So I thought, oh, I'm not gonna be able to eat that much. And then I was like, wait, Mindy, no, you can freeze them and use them in smoothies or make smoothie bowls with them. Cause some of them, like this one is soft, ready to eat today. And then I picked the rest to be like pretty hard. That way I could refrigerate them maybe, and then just, or not refrigerate them, but have them ripen over time and I'll freeze whatever I can't eat. So nothing goes to waste. Back here we have foil. Guys, this brand Reynolds came out with some kind of a non-stick foil. Pretty excited about that. And then Larry picked up a smaller foil for a car project that he is working on. Triple A batteries. And then I picked up some salsa for chips and salsa. This is the Pico de Gallo Fresh Salsa by Incredible Fresh. Larry's Ultra Thin Ham. These are so good, these purple potatoes. I also feel like I'm eating something healthier when it's rich in color and nice and purple, deep purple on the inside. Don't really know if it holds any different benefits than the classic gold, but it's still fun to get. So I'm gonna do roasted potatoes in the oven tonight for dinner. I don't really know what exactly we're having, but we're gonna have potatoes. Larry picked up some chicken. Larry almost killed me in the store because I saw these and came to a direct halt when the cart was overflowing and he nearly ran me over, but he didn't because he's so sweet. But I saw this, it's an avocado pod and usually I just throw mine in a Ziploc bag and you know, it's just not the most environmental friendly. So I found these, which is a reusable pod and I'm gonna give it a try. It's BPA free and it claims to keep your avocado more fresh. And then Larry's like, do you want one for your onions? And I was like, yeah, you'd probably like that because 
Sometimes onions and Ziploc bags literally pollute everything in your refrigerator. And Larry had chocolate donuts in there once, bit into it, and it tasted like onion flavored chocolate donuts, which is sinful. So I picked up an onion one, um, which would fit an onion that was cut in half. So picked up those. Then we have Larry's favorite brown serve original sausage links, this cooked bacon. The hot dogs, his favorite. If you guys like hot dogs, you gotta try these. They're the Angus beef. No added, what does it say? No added, bunch of stuff no added, so that's exciting. Um, they were buy one, get one free. Larry's hot dog buns. Oh wait, those are hamburger buns. Did you know you got two hamburger buns, hon? Okay, good. All right, so we got hamburger buns. Now, we need to go over here. The Propel was on sale, so we got two peach, two grape. They weren't? They were not on sale? Okay. I lied. Guys, they weren't on sale. I just assumed because there was an equal number of four. The bubbly, however, was on sale. I think they were three for ten. Okay. And Larry's favorite, as you can tell, is the strawberry. We found my wraps, which I was very excited about. These are the carb counter wraps that I get. They're whole wheat. I don't like to get the white. I like to get the whole wheat ones. So I picked up some of those. This is what I use for my pizzas. Really delicious. We have Larry's hot dog buns. Um, Larry found the Greenwise pumpkin pie, which these are so good, but I found out that they have dairy in them because they're made with milk. So I haven't had pumpkin pie since the last time I tried it with you guys on camera, which is kind of disappointing, but it'll be for Larry. Then over here we have like more of household car related items. So we have windshield wiper fluid. This was really affordable. How much, babe? Like a dollar or something? $1. $1.49, so that's a great price. More batteries, we got the double A. This, oh my gosh, guys. I have not seen this in stores since pre-COVID. They have not carried it at our public. So I picked up two cans just to prepare, prepare for the winter season. So yay for that. Larry picked up a magic eraser. And I needed more sponges for the sink and doing dishes. And then we got a bleach toilet bowl cleaner. Okay, so my, I have to leave for my doctor's appointment in seven minutes. So we have seven minutes to get all of this put away. Oh, I wanna make a coffee for the road. We are gonna try this combination, see how it is. I'm gonna pop these in the fridge first so that this has a little bit time to cool. And then I'm gonna have to have a banana for lunch because I just, I don't have time to eat a proper lunch. We'll fix that later, but it, banana for now. Okay, let's go. We need to leave, we are out of time. There's a couple of things that need to be put away. Did you drink that? Yeah. Is it safe? I don't know. It's been in there a while. It's still got fizz, but I mean, it tastes like Elka-Seltzer. It's just water with the bubbly stuff. Yeah, we're still trial and error with our bubbly. We haven't tried it again since I told you guys about it. And you guys gave us some great tips and, and um, mm -hmm. some how-tos, so yeah, we we're should gonna try work that. with that. Guys, we cannot leave yet. We need to make our coffee. Oh my God, what am I thinking? Java. We cannot leave without making the coffee. We can't, we have to have a road beverage. Hello. Okay, the ingredients. Boom, boom, you guys already saw it. Nice butt, babe. Nice. I need something out of here. This is so unconventional for an iced coffee, but we're doing it because also pumpkin. So let's put some ice cubes in. You're a wild woman. Wait, they're not gonna be able to see the magic. What's sad about this is, guys, you're not gonna be able to see the colors form. A color store? It's all about the ambiance, you know? That's all right. That's all right. Forgive me, guys. You know you know what happens, how pretty it looks. Just imagine a clear glass with dark, robust coffee with the beautiful pumpkin cream dripping in and melting in those colors. That's what we're going to visualize, but we totally aren't going to be able to see that. Yeah, that's perfect, babe. Thank you. Right. I'm rushing. I feel like a spaz right now. Okay, we'll give it a shake. You are a spaz. I am. Especially when I'm freaking out. I don't see any colors. Yeah. Oh, wait. I can have Larry hold it. Hold on. Is that enough coffee? I don't think so. That's better. All right. All right, now. This is going to be colorful? Yeah, it's going to make it look pretty. Although normally it's like dripping down the cup and it looks better, but. Oh. All right, we gave it a shake. Let's see 
Oh, it's the rainbow. Smells so good. I don't know how much that is, but that's how much that went in. I mean, that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? I didn't see any colors. <laughs> it usually drips. Let me stir. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> Check with the doctor. Tell him I'm going colorblind. I will. <laughs> Let's try it. Ready? Cheers. OMG. Uh, 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 uh. 100%. 10 out of 10. Bye, Lexi. All right, guys, we have made it to my doctor's appointment. So while we have a few seconds, we are going to eat this banana, which I don't think is ripe, by the way, because the, the lid, the, oh my gosh, it's going to open in the back and smush my banana. You know, they say you're supposed to do it this way anyways, but I can never do that either. Guys, I can't even get into my banana. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Yay. I've been sipping off my, sipping on my coffee all the way here. It is so good. Um, also there is wasp nests on the doctor's office, not my doctor, but the building next door. There is like hundreds of wasps or bees in these nests. Consumed. For the, like a month to a month and a half or so, I've been getting like inner ear pain. So I just think I might have an ear infection or it could seriously just be allergies. Cause you guys know I'm always congested. I just have like ear, nose, throat issues. So it could mean nothing or it could be I have an ear infection. So better be safe and sorry. And my plan is I want to get it taken care of before the embryo transfer. And I even have to be careful with medications that I take currently. So I want to talk to him about that as well. And I also need to talk to him about migraine safe medication during pregnancy. I'm not going to put my banana peel. I'm going to have to keep it in my car. To put on the mask. Okay. Yay. Wow, this smells like freaking laundry detergent. That's not the best thing. It's gonna irritate my face. That's already irritated. Guys, I am back in the car. Turns out, good news, I do not have an ear infection. I do have fluid um, in there, but everybody has a normal amount of fluid, he said, and yours is a little bit, but it's not too, too bad, which puts pressure on the ear. I don't know. He was explaining it really well. I'm not, because I'm not a doctor. However, it's allergies, since I am always congested, and then in the morning, my nose is pouring. I was telling him that. It's basically my allergies, so he's giving me Flonase, which is also safe pre-pregnancy and during pregnancy, so he wants me to take that or use that every day, so I'll pick up that today. When it comes to the migraines, you know, he Tylenol is what he said. So I'll deal with that. That's okay. We'll use ice packs and massages and just try to get through it. I'm now going to head to Sprouts. Let's go there really quick. And then we'll head off and get these brows done because, honey, they need, they need fixed. Oh, you guys know that I was doing the pumpkin spice sale. However, I just heard back. Anyways, there was a malfunction. The malfunction has been fixed. So I just wanted to update you there. I also need my lip balm because the mask like massively dried out my lips and they're burning. Let's get this show on the road. Let's go to Sprouts. I don't really need anything. Why am I going? I kind of want to look at prenatal vitamins there. And then there was something else I wanted to look at. Guys, why am I going to Sprouts? Screw it. I'm, I have no reason. I just want to look. I mean, I got a ton of groceries. I'm more so just looking at I'm just perusing, you know? Guys, I just pulled next to the most magical van. It says visits from Santa and there's a number you can call. <gasps> that is so magical. Look at this. Look, it's reindeer, I believe, with Santa. That is so cool. So guys, I just had that brain fart moment. So I was at Sprouts and I just bought sushi, right? With raw fish on it. And I am going to get my brows done. And this obviously cannot sit in 96 degree weather in a car while I drive around and get my brows done. And I found chocolate. That was the other thing I wanted to get um, that didn't contain dairy because I couldn't find any at Publix. So I ended up finding some varieties at Sprouts. So I got, so they're made by made case i'm so pronouncing this wrong beyond good madagascar heirloom chocolate and toasted coconut look how cute it is so i'm so excited about this so it's gluten-free soy-free vegan 
Um, and then I also got the same brand in Pure Dark. What's the difference? Oh, Toasted Coconut. That's fun. And then Pure Dark. And then this was dairy and gluten free, but this brand, not all of them were dairy free. So this is the only one that was dairy free. So I picked up the chocolate, almonds, and sea salt and dark chocolate. So I got those three, again, also three things that are totally gonna melt in the car because it's, like I said, 96 degrees. And then we're just gonna do a little haul. Ah, I found some tea, some pumpkin spice tea. This was exciting. So we're gonna give that a try. I also found some, okay, I cannot sit in here without any air on. I just try not to turn on the air because it blows and it's loud on the mic, but um, we also picked up, we, I talk as if my honey is here with me and he's not. Um, vanilla peppermint, I picked this up. I thought it was really, it sounded good. Caffeine free, it's herbal, supports a healthy digestion. And then I picked up a new vitamin. I am out of my vitamins. You guys know that I've worked with Carob in the past. I'm out of my vitamins. Um, but I want to give something new a try. So I'm going to try these. These are the Garden of Life Vitamin Code Raw Prenatal Vitamins. I'm currently taking the ones that you get at CVS. I forget the brand. But I've heard the raw ones are better. I don't know. I'm just trying to do my best. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. But the only thing about these is, number one, they're expensive. Probably because they're raw. But you have to take like three of them in a day. Take one capsule three times daily may be taken with or without food. Capsules may be opened and contents may be poured into water or juice. Oh, I love that. Not intended for children. So I'm going to try these. If you're trying to conceive or you're pregnant or anything, let me know which prenatal vitamins you like or if I picked a great brand. I was tossing up between this one and another brand that they had at Sprouts, but I ended up picking this one because it was like $15 more affordable, but they were still kind of in the same range and then you guys know that I love my ramen but the ramen noodles like the general ramen noodles that come in the packets aren't the best for you I've switched over to these you guys have seen me spoke about these speak about these before so they're made with organic brown rice flour organic white rice flour and bam bamboo extract anyways so I've come to Publix because I need to run in and grab a bag of ice. Thankfully, we have a cooler in the back. If you live in the state of Florida, you probably keep a cooler in the back of your car in case you do grocery shopping or you do an oopsie like I did. So I've stopped at a random Publix that I never go to because I'm not close to home and we need to run in and purchase a bag of ice. Got my ice. It's in here. Now we're just gonna pop these in there. They're already starting to melt. And the sushi and the lid. So unfortunately the brow place closed. So no brows today. So we'll just come back maybe tomorrow and I'll get them done. I was excited to get them done, but it's not life or death. It's all good. We can come back another day. And now the last stop before we can go home, which means I didn't have to get ice. <laughs> well, probably should have still. It would have had a car ride, but it would have been air conditioned. Whatever. Anyways, we need to stop at the pharmacy to get my Flonays for my nose problem and then we get to go home and relax for the rest of the evening i'm so excited to watch hocus pocus guys i am just like i cannot wait and we need to eat i still haven't eaten lunch and it's 4 30 4 24 so i guess my sushi will be dinner we won't be making potatoes oh so larry had a late lunch so he's not ready to eat dinner yet um but i am freaking starving so i am going to eat say hi babe hi babe He's working on his project. Fine, fine. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let's unpackage our sushi. This is called Living Color Roll. It has imitation crab, shrimp, tuna, and salmon. Oh my gosh, these two cats are chasing each other and being naughty. They've been fed, they just got their food, so they shouldn't be so naughty. Oh crap, <gasps> look at it. And the cooler in the back kept it icy cold and all my chocolates were icy cold. So that was great. Here is our delicious roll. Just look at it. Oh my gosh, so good. Guys, we've got it all set up. Look how cozy it looks. So we have mattress. The little, this is so much nicer to lay on. I am not gonna lie, like to watch a movie laying on it. It's so cute, it's such a vibe. It's like a fun little treat. So we have Larry in his cute pumpkin attire. And then we have Hocus Pocus. All right, guys, I am gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us for the day and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.